If you're not a particularly fast or agile animal, one of the best ways that you can stop predators from hunting you is to be toxic. If a predator is going to die right after chowing down on you, then they're probably not going to bother you. But it isn't always easy to tell if an animal is poisonous or not. Some animals are polite enough to give you a warning that they might be toxic, and they usually do this by having striking patterns and bright coloration. This is called aposomatic coloration, and it's so effective at scaring off predators that some creatures use it even if they aren't poisonous. In today's video, we'll be traveling around the world looking at some of the most toxic animals on this planet, and we'll be ranking them based on how quickly they eliminate you after eating them. To start off with, we'll be heading into the ocean, and we'll be looking for an animal that most people would love to avoid. The Greenland shark is one of the most mysterious and creepy fish in our oceans, and I think I'm right in saying that it doesn't really look that delicious. Despite this, it's eaten in places such as Iceland, but a lot of steps need to be taken before it makes it to somebody's plate. Now as I featured the Greenland shark in a recent video, I'll try to keep this section as brief as I can, but there really are so many interesting facts about this zombie shark. The fact that they are toxic is arguably one of the least interesting things about them, as they have some seemingly unnatural abilities. They are the longest living vertebrate in the world, with some sources claiming that they can live up to 500 years old, and they sometimes hunt their prey by sneaking up on them while they're sleeping. Because they are relatively slow moving and lethargic, they are relatively easy to catch, but there's no way that you can safely eat them once you get them out of the water. Their meat contains high levels of urea and TMAO, which can be fatal to humans if eaten in high doses. If you were dumb enough to eat untreated Greenland shark meat, then at first it wouldn't be too bad, as it has similar effects to extreme intoxication. If you decide to continue eating, then you can go blind, and eventually, if you have enough, you'll die. To make the meat safe to eat, it's fermented and hung up for months, and even once the process is finished, it's described as being an acquired taste. Unfortunately, this industry has a massive effect on the Greenland shark numbers, as they can take up to 150 years to make it to sexual maturity, meaning that eliminating a few fully grown individuals can have a long-lasting effect. On another dull note, there's actually no reliable time frame for how long it takes raw Greenland shark meat to kill you, as not many people fish for these sharks, and those that do know the danger. If I didn't include the Greenland shark, then I'm sure that I'd have many comments suggesting it, as it is one of the most toxic sea creatures out there. For this reason, the Greenland shark slots in at number 8, and thankfully this is the only animal in this video that we don't have a reliable time for. To find our next group of animals, we can actually stay in the ocean, but we will be heading into warmer waters. Sea turtles are a peaceful group of marine reptiles. Unfortunately, in most places around the world, they aren't eaten by humans. Almost all sea turtle species are threatened with extinction, as beach development, fishing nets, and poaching have caused massive declines in their populations worldwide. This is why, in many places around the world, they are protected, and there are hundreds of ongoing conservation projects to try and help them to bounce back. Unfortunately, not everybody cares about these iconic reptiles as much as they should, as they are still eaten in some countries across their range. In some cases, the sea turtles seem to have the last laugh, as under certain circumstances, sea turtles can become toxic, and they have claimed the lives of humans in the past. Some species, such as the hawksbill sea turtle, are able to absorb some of the toxins of the animals that they eat, such as sponges and sea urchins. This means that they can become toxic to humans that choose to eat them, and this type of food poisoning is called chelonotoxism. This kind of poisoning is surprisingly common, and as sea turtles are usually eaten at group events as a delicacy, there are usually multiple victims in every case. One of the most recent cases took place in the Philippines last year, where three people were killed and 32 people were hospitalized after eating turtle stew. There are many factors that can affect how quickly turtle meat can kill you, but some sources claim that they can eliminate you in as little as 24 hours. This means that the sea turtles slot in at 7th place, and really you shouldn't be eating sea turtles in the first place. For our next animal, we'll be heading back up north, and we'll be taking a look at an animal that I'm sure many of you weren't expecting to feature. If you were asked to imagine a poisonous animal, then I doubt many of you would think of the polar bear. But then again, not many people think about eating polar bears in the first place. Unless you have a gun with you, if you meet a polar bear, then it's much more likely that they'll take a bite out of you. But if you are crazy enough to try and eat one, then there are some body parts to avoid. 
Most of the polar bear's body is safe to eat for humans, but it's a good idea to steer clear of the liver. Polar bear livers contain very high levels of vitamin A, and it's estimated that you only need to eat around 500 grams of a polar bear liver to get a lethal dose. Hypervitaminosis A refers to the toxic effects of ingesting too much vitamin A, and usually it's not fatal and can be treated by altering your diet. The polar bears simply have too much vitamin A in their livers due to their preference for hunting seals, and one polar bear liver has enough vitamin A to kill 52 adults. The polar bears have adapted over time to be able to deal with these extremely high levels, but it's far too much for our bodies to handle. Once again, there are lots of factors that can affect how quickly it can kill you, but some sources claim that if you eat a whole liver, then you could be gone in as little as 12 hours. When hunters would kill polar bears, they would often burn or even bury the liver so that no other animals or people would get poisoned. And the polar bear's high vitamin A content means that it's fit for number six. Crabs are eaten by humans all over the globe, but you need to be careful when selecting your prey. Not all crabs are safe to eat, and some have even been used by people to end their stories prematurely. Of course, crabs are not only on the menu for humans, but also many other predators in our oceans. This is why some of them have strong pincers to fight back against potential predators, and others are extremely toxic to persuade predators to leave them alone. The most poisonous crabs are the species in the gorilla crab family, and many members of this family can prove lethal if eaten by humans. Both their meat and their shells can contain neurotoxins such as tetrodotoxin and saxotoxin, and these toxins can't be destroyed by cooking and have no antidote. Thankfully, many of the more toxic species have the decency to warn us that they're toxic by being brightly coloured, but this isn't enough to stop some people from trying to eat them. One of the most toxic species is the toxic reef crab, with 50% of intoxication cases being fatal. If you make the mistake of eating a crab as poisonous as the toxic reef crab, you could take your last breath in as little as three hours. Even if you don't eat the poisonous species, there are still risks that come with eating crabs, mostly through parasitic and bacterial infections. In one of the stranger incidents, a Chinese man almost died after eating a live crab whole, and he later admitted that he ate the crab out of revenge as it pinched his daughter. This of course is a very bad idea, but it would have been even worse if it was a toxic crab. This crab is more terrifying than most of the other animals in this video, simply because crabs are eaten far more frequently than all of the other animals, and it's easy to understand how somebody could make a mistake. These toxic crabs slot in at number five. And finally, for our next section, we can head on to land. Amphibians rely on poison more than any other group of animals, and newts are no exception to this rule. Like the gorilla crabs, many newts are also very polite, and they warn us of the danger by having striking colours. If you decide to eat the vast majority of newt species, then you'll usually get very ill, but only the most toxic species can claim human lives. North America has quite a high number of toxic amphibians, and the most poisonous newt that can be found here is the rough-skinned newt. These slimy creatures can reach a maximum length of around 18 centimeters, and one of the reasons that they are so slimy is because they secrete a potent toxin from their skin. As well as having a striking orange underbelly to convince predators not to bite them, they are also known to produce a sharp unpleasant smell as an additional measure. This is enough to convince even the densest predators to leave them alone, but it's not enough to stop humans that have had too much to drink. For some reason, there seems to be a trend where drunk men have been dared to eat rough-skinned newts, and unsurprisingly, they soon die afterwards. These people must have had some pretty awful friends, or they may have just underestimated how deadly these amphibians can be. In another case, three hunters were found dead at their campsite in Oregon with no signs of struggle, and the cause of death was a mystery until investigators took a look in their coffee pot. One dead, rough-skinned newt was found inside, and this was enough to kill all three men. Some of their natural predators have adapted to the danger of hunting these newts by becoming immune, with garter snakes being some of the only animals that can survive after consuming these amphibians. If you're dumb enough or drunk enough to eat a rough-skinned newt, then you won't last long, as in the worst case, you could be dead in as little as two hours. This means that the rough-skinned newt is fit for fourth place, and for our next section, we'll be focusing on birds. 
Now, birds aren't usually the creatures that come to mind when you think of toxic animals, but there are a few species that can become toxic under certain circumstances. When the common quail eats certain plants, they can become toxic and cause kidney failure, and the weird and wonderful spur-winged goose can become toxic from eating blister beetles. To find the most toxic birds in the world, you'll have to head over to New Guinea, as this is where you can find the hooded pitahui. The hooded pitahui uses the same family of batrachotoxin compounds as some poison dart frogs of South America, but we'll get around to these guys a little later on in the video. Strangely, this bird gets its toxic ability in the same way as these amphibians and the spur-winged goose, and that's by eating toxic insects. This means that hooded pitahuis kept in captivity and not fed toxic beetles will likely not be poisonous in any way, but their diet in the wild means that they can be deadly. Researchers have stated that even handling these birds and touching their feathers can cause numbness and a burning sensation, and people who have eaten this bird haven't lasted long after. Data regarding the time in which it takes the poison to claim a human life is hard to come by, but it's claimed that it could all be over in under an hour. For this reason, the hooded pitahui takes the third place spot, and for our next section we'll be heading back into our oceans. Because pufferfish are relatively poor swimmers, it's essential that they have a few strategies to avoid predation. They do have pretty strong teeth and jaws, but they mostly use these to crush the shells of their prey and to bully smaller fish. Instead, to avoid predation, they famously fill their extremely elastic stomachs with water to make themselves appear larger and to make them harder to swallow. And if this alone doesn't work, they can also rely on their toxicity. Some pufferfish species are among the most toxic animals on the planet, but some predators have adapted to this defensive mechanism. Some sharks are immune to the pufferfish's tetrodotoxin, but we humans definitely aren't. This is why it seems like a very unnecessary risk to eat these animals, but they are very popular in places such as Japan and Korea. In these countries, if you want to become a fugu chef, then you need to go through three years of rigorous training, as domestic preparation often leads to fatalities. The liver was once seen as the most flavorful part of the fish, but it's also one of the parts that can contain the most poison. For this reason, it was banned in restaurants in Japan in 1984, but even with this much precaution, there are still a handful of deaths each year. Their tetrodotoxin is a sodium channel blocker, and it paralyzes the muscles while the victim stays fully conscious. Most deaths occur when the victim is unable to breathe, and eventually they die from asphyxiation. This is really quite a nasty way to go, and unfortunately there's no antidote, so once you've eaten the puffer fish, then it could be game over. One of the deadliest cases took place in the Philippines back in 2019, where four people were killed and 17 people were hospitalized. It's believed that one puffer fish can have enough poison to kill 30 adult humans, so it might not be worth taking the risk and ordering puffer fish when it's on the menu. If you ingest a healthy amount of pufferfish poison, then you could be gone in as little as 10 minutes, and this means that the pufferfishes come in at second place. The poison dart frogs are arguably the most beautiful deadly animals in the world, as they come in a variety of different striking colours to warn potential predators of their toxicity. As I mentioned a little earlier, they get their toxins through their diet, usually from eating poisonous ants and beetles. This means that individuals bred in captivity are pretty much harmless if eaten, but I don't recommend doing so as not only are they very cute, but they also make great pets if you're willing to put the effort in. The potency of the alkaloid toxins that they produce varies from species to species, with the most toxic frog being the golden poison frog. This species is endemic to the rainforests of Colombia, but tragically it's listed as endangered due to habitat loss. Not only is this species thought to be the most toxic poison dart frog, but it's also considered to be the most poisonous extant animal on the planet. They do have a few colour morphs across their range, with some of them even displaying a greenish-white coloration. Famously, the indigenous people of the rainforests in which they're found use their poison to coat their arrow tips, and once soaked, the arrow tips can stay deadly for years. Some golden poison frogs contain enough poison to kill 20 people, or around two adult African bull elephants. If you had the bright idea to eat one of these frogs, then it's very possible that your heart would stop beating within three minutes, and that's why the poison dart frogs, and more specifically the golden poison frog, takes the top spot. 
there are many other toxic animals that I would have loved to have featured, but unfortunately just like the Greenland shark there wasn't reliable data regarding times. Despite this, if there are any other poisonous animals that you would have liked to have seen then let me know down in the comments below. But for now thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh,